Good evening, how are we all? All right. And the rest of you? <laughs> but uh, Hitler certainly made sure that style of moustache never came back into fashion, didn't it? <laughs> Don't mind about that. I was watching a video last night. I watched Oliver Twist on video. Have you seen Oliver Twist? What a great film, Old Cockney Musical. I've seen Oliver Twist a few times, and I've seen that other one, A Christmas Carol. I was thinking, what a pain in the arse it would have been to have lived in Victorian London, wouldn't it? Because you couldn't do anything without a bunch of dirty-faced little Cockney kids running after you singing. <laughs> It'd be very annoying, wouldn't it? You're just walking along the road, and they're just coming after you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You just go, piss off. <laughs> What are you thanking me for? I haven't even done anything. Who are you? Consider yourself. Ow, oh, mate, I'm not your bloody mate. Piss off. Get back up the chimney where you work. Eat the bit of coal you got for Christmas. So I was a bit harsh on him there, wasn't I? <laughs> Sorry, mate. Just... That was a bit of mime there. I'll do a bit of mime. That was, that, was a, that was consoling an imaginary street urchin. <laughs> You've probably seen a lot of people mind that, mind that, but there's no finer exponent than me, so enjoy. <laughs> Sorry about that, mate. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> always singing, always chirping, because they did, they lived in horrible disease ridden times back then. Back then, they had, in Europe, they had some of the worst diseases ever, ever. They had the shocking things like the Black Plague and the Bubonic Plague and the Black Death and the Bubonic Death. <laughs> it was just one, yeah. Uh, but they did, they had, I didn't look it up, but they had horrible diseases. And, they didn't know how to treat diseases back then. They didn't have a clue about medicine. Medicine was really in its infancy back then. I don't, I don't know if you've ever seen any of those really old medical journals. You know, those big dusty books with medical pictures in from like 300 years ago. They're bloody scary. They didn't have a clue what to do in those days. It was so archaic and crude and wrong. You used to go to the doctors 300 years ago and you go, oh, you've got a cough, better drill a hole in your head and fill it with muffins. <laughs> Get away from me, you're a madman. <laughs> I want crumpets. <laughs> I know me medicine, mate. <laughs> they did, they didn't have a bloody clue. They had a lot of old wives' tales as well. You know, you know like old wives' tales like your nan believes in now. You know those really old-fashioned remedies for things. And they were crap, they didn't work. My nan, she still says they work, and I, so I just say shut up. <laughs> you're very small. And, <laughs> I know it's not an argument, but it seems to work. I love it at Christmas where she goes, oh, haven't you grown? I go, haven't you shrunk? And, but my nan, she swears by these old wives' tale remedies. She says they work. They don't work. If they worked, hospitals would have employed these techniques by now, wouldn't they? You know, a bloke would get rushed into hospital or emergency on a, on a stretcher, and the nurse would say, doctor, this man needs urgent heart surgery straight away or he's going to die. And the doctor would go, no, no, stand aside. I'll just pop a bit of butter on his tummy. Yeah, just... <laughs> All right. And then some brown paper and vinegar and... Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you all laughed at that and I just ate a patient and... <laughs> it made no sense whatsoever. <laughs> but you laughed. That's great. And they had... What about leeches? They loved leeches. Leeches were the cure for everything two or three hundred years ago. The cure, absolutely everything. You go to the doctors, they stick... If, whatever was wrong with you, they stick blood-sucking leeches on you. Very strange. You go to the doctors, you go, oh, I've got a cold. And you go, oh, put a leech on your throat there. You go, oh, I broke my leg in 12 places. He goes, oh, a couple of leeches down there. I've been bitten by a leech. Oh, shit. Um, so... <laughs> oh, you got me stumped there. Uh, we'll cut your head off. How about that? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thanks very much. Come see me at the trade store. You've been great. Cheers. Thank you.